2021 National Ace Pigeon Inland? Inland in Ireland, yeah. The champ, you're the man. Well, he won the pigeon won the race anyway. I didn't do the flying, but uh, yeah, he won it. You, you helped out just a little bit. But well, I've done my best to make it possible for him. Perfect. Derek, what's a good tip that maybe someone doesn't know? So something that, that you, it's important. I just try to keep things uh, as simple as possible, you know. Um, I don't individualize with any one particular pigeon to try and get the best from him. Because uh, if I'm doing that, well, then I'm not doing it with the rest of them. So uh, all the pigeons are treated exactly the very same. There's not one pigeon treated any different to the other. It's a team performance, a team effort. Um, I suppose one thing I, that I have learned um, with in particular with the cocks is that uh, it's very important that they see you as one of the team. What does that mean? One of, one the, of the team? team, they trust you implicitly, you know, they trust you 100%. Uh, it all revolves around whatever you do, they obey. Okay. For example, you know, you know if the widowed cocks are out and they're out banging around and flying around and they're cracking off the loft and coming back, you know when you walk around the loft or come down around the corner to let them in, they know exactly what's going on. They all get excited. They all, you know, they accept you as as the governor, the boss. You know. Do you do you ever come in the loft upset? Of course you would, yeah. But funny enough, when you do come into the loft and something's on your mind and you're not yourself, it's amazing how pi how good how much the pigeons can pick it up from you. You'll all see them; they'll all kind of go back on their on their heels because they know you're not right either. So I try to leave everything outside the loft before I come in. Something bothering me, I try to forget about it before I come in here because. Uh, you know, it's introducing unnecessary stress to the pigeons as well. People might say, when cracked, <laughs> whatever, you know. But it, it is reduced or um, removing any unnecessary stress from the pigeons. So you, you believe that the pigeons, these widowhood cocks or the young birds or any of the birds that you're working with mm. to race, they pick up on good energy, they pick up on bad energy, they feel it. Yeah, I think they pick on negativity, you know. I think they do. Um, I mean, if you came into the loft and you're really annoyed about something, of course they're going to be watching you. They watch everything. Pigeons are highly intelligent, you know. If they're able to fly 700 miles in a day from the south of France to, to England or to Ireland or Northern Ireland, well, you know what? They can't be stupid, can they? No. So they there you go. Stupid. There you go. A simple tip. Mm. Very simple. Just do your best for the pigeons. You do your best for them. There's nobody knows everything about pigeons. Every day is a school day. I mean, I certainly don't know everything about them. And far from it. I'm only back in pigeons 2015. But I try to learn something uh, new. And uh, I always made it a point to surround myself with people that are in the know about pigeons. The right people that will give you the right direction and advice if you have an issue or if you have um, something to ask. I mean, I was very fortunate to have a very good friend that has helped me uh, to no end <clears throat> over the last five or six years, Stuart Fawcett in Durham. He's, and we speak probably every other day, you know, and he's been invaluable, fantastic to me, you know. So if I have an issue of something on my mind, I'll always ring him and he'll say, you know, I've heard the name Stuart before. Yeah, he's top class, yeah. Well, and if anything, you know what, if he doesn't know it, it's probably not worth knowing. Well, there you have it. Derek Walsh, nice little, uh, nice little few tips in there. Pick out what you guys like. Super champion sprint machine right here. You see him, he looks just like a sprinter. Some say he's a shorter Usain Bolt. I don't oh, know. Stop. Thanks, Derek. Okay, thanks, Ryan.